Imagine being attacked by one of your own hands, which frequently tries to slap and punch you. It's the stuff of nightmares. This is called alien hand syndrome. Alien hand syndrome is a disorder with a central nervous system in which the hand appears to take on a mind of its own. The hand appears to be outside voluntary control. It occurs in cases where a person has had the two hemispheres of the brain surgically separated, a procedure sometimes used to relieve the symptoms of extreme cases of epilepsy. It also occurs in some cases after brain surgery, stroke, infection, tumour and specific degenerative brain conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. A normal brain consists of two hemispheres, which communicate with each other via the corpus callosum. The left hemisphere, which controls the right arm and leg, tends to be where the language skills reside. The right hemisphere, which controls the left arm and leg, is largely responsible for the spatial awareness and recognizing patterns. Usually, the more analytical left hemisphere dominates, having the final say in the actions we perform. Surgeons first decided to treat epilepsy by cutting the corpus callosum. After they had recovered, the patients appeared normal, but in psychological circles, they became legends. The two halves of our brains each contain a kind of separate consciousness. Each hemisphere is capable of its own independent will. There is no cure for the alien hand syndrome. However, the symptoms can be reduced and managed to some degree by keeping the alien hand occupied and involved in a task. For example, by giving it an object to hold in its grasp or giving the hand a certain activity to do.